when you're blue, when you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where Black Root sits? Yeah, jumping on the bits. <laughs> hey guys, Game Rocky, we're back with Darksiders 2. We're going to see Black Root before we go um, wake up the Dead Lords. Because I want to trade in Perhaps some of those. You would be kind enough to feed me. Feed me. Sure thing, man. Mm, these are for you. Where you. did you find these? All over the place. You would not even imagine. Okay, so it might look like I have some different gear and different amounts of things. Um, I'll explain that in a little bit. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to trade in some of these stones. Uh, here, I'll put up a little table on the wiki that I found. Um, you trade them three stones for different stat boosts, um, which are really great, actually. This is, this is probably the most useful side quest in this game, <laughs> just for these stat-ups. Um, but I've been reading up a little bit, and I think Arcane actually affects the uh, Necromancer abilities, like the ghoul damage and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to focus a little bit more on Arcane stats, um, and uh, hope that I'm not being a big noob. So, uh, as you can see, it takes three Mystic Stones. Or arcane, or at least two mystic stones for arcane crit chance and crit damage. So, alright. Man, I have so many stones. I'm going to... I'm going to get, like, two of these just plain arcanes. And I'll get one of the crit chance plus 2%. Actually, let's, let's do another one. I really hope I, w I don't regret this, but honestly, it's okay. <laughs> you know what, we'll, we'll do one more just plain arcane. And then I'll keep these stones. Uh, Alright, so cool. We're arcanified. So uh, anyway, let's let's move on. Let's get that dead lord going. Uh, let's see. Gotta go back to the tree of life. Actually, I noticed the tree of life is actually called the tree of death in the... In the uh, land of the land of the dead, so that's pretty interesting. It's a completely different tree, I guess. They're just connected through these portals. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. Oh yeah, I was gonna explain. Uh, so I actually tried recording this. Um, I did some recording yesterday for three hours, and then I realized afterwards that I wasn't recording sound the whole the whole time. Because I've kind of been experimenting with stuff. Um, and that was not a good realization. <laughs> if you can imagine. Especially with a game that auto-saves. I had to replay back to where I was. Um, so this is a completely different file I'm in right now. That's why my gear is different. My stats are different. And uh, all that. My talents are different even. I'm focusing more on just the ghouls and the shield. I'm not going to put any points in the crows. They weren't particularly useful, so... It's okay. Oh, and also, a big thing. <laughs> I changed the difficulty to normal. Um, you missed it in the failed recording, but... Uh, in these next few areas, I was having to backtrack to get health potions almost every fight because that's just how brutal they were and that just isn't fun for me and I just cut that out anyway so I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna change it to normal and so I did and so I've been playing this file in normal so hopefully that doesn't upset you guys too much <laughs> but yeah it was really hard man I, I can't even explain to you I had five health potions there's one fight I was fighting one guy I had five health potions, and I went through all of them and still died, like three times. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> I can't do it. It's too hard. I have my limits. Okay, so uh, this is the tomb of Far Farisir, Far Farisir, something like that. It's swarming with mummy folk. Um, they look scary, but. They're not so bad. In fact, you can just kill them with B, and they give you health and wrath. Or whatever you're... I guess it's based on what 
the stats your items have. But yeah, they, they just die by pushing B. So they're pretty cool. I don't mind the mummies. Do not mind the mummies. Do you mind the mummies? And uh, I guess a bonus of this is I, since I've done all of this stuff pretty recently, I'm probably going to remember what I'm doing. So <laughs> it's not going to be nearly as uh, confusing. It was pretty confusing at some points. Good lord. You start getting tricky with this stuff. Give me a bomb. Oh, to bomb all the bomb bombs. Why is there a... Why is that there? Oh, you know what? I think I need... I need that. <gasps> Can I climb that? No. Gotta go back. Okey smokey then. So, uh, yeah. How have you guys been doing? Wow, look at that. That's pretty good. Um... If it's like a blatant upgrade, I'm probably just going to pick it up. But if it's like a really strong arcane upgrade, I'm going to get that. That's that's my plan. Okay, and you need to go over there. Oh, wait. I can't punch it? Oh, it's because it's on a different layer or something. <laughs> there we go. I just daintily pushes this huge column off. It. You're crazy, Death. You're crazy. Okay, so what we need to do is lift this gate and then blow this underneath it so it keeps it keeps it upright. Mummies, I hear you. I hear you, mummies. I hear what you're saying, but I don't. I don't condone that behavior. I did not put it there. I did not put it there. I put it on the left side for off balance Gumby head style, and you went in the middle feng shui style. I don't. I don't approve. Do not approve of that. Okay, so here we are. This is an elevator. Um, these are the Roman numerals of the, of the floors, and we're on the top floor, actually. Floor four. So, um, before I go down, I'm going to go over here. <laughs> See what we got? crack a -lack More mummies. More mummies, more problems. Hey, yo. Oh, yeah, look at this axe. Ooh, that's cool. And I don't know if I want that. I. Fine, fine, I'll do it. I'll do it. Why not? I bet there's an item in here somewhere. A sneaky, tricky, hidden thing. Oh, what do you know? Book of the Dead. Oh yeah, that completes chapter one. So yeah, I, there's definitely some Book of the Dead pages I picked up that I didn't get in the other file, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are a lot of walkthroughs that can show you all the locations those pages. I'm I'm not really going to do that, so. Yeah. And actually as far as side quests go, I think I've kind of figured out what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do the like play the side quests and and just put them on like a Saturday special or something. Because I don't really post anything on Saturday. And there's a little bit of a gap from Thursdays. Okay, so floor three has one door and it is locked. Okey smokey. I don't know what it is about this elevator, but it keeps making my camera Please, pan. Osman, while you still can. Whoa! You broke your elevator, dude. While I still can, and then you break the elevator. That's kind of contradictory. Saying. Okay, so what do we have? We have nothing, a door that Dust wants me to go to, an opening, and another door that I'm going to go to. <laughs> so that that was the Lord. He's he doesn't want us to wake him up, I guess. Although he already seems to be awake, so I don't know. 
There's a Vulgrim thing over there. God, the music here is really creepy. Uh, let's go up. Woo! Nice. Got it. Alright. This, this one actually had me stumped for a little bit. It's kind of tricky. <laughs> Push this switch, one cage goes down, and the other one goes up. But we're gonna need both of them down, right? So, what do we do? What do we do? We could sing and dance, I guess. Put on my rap tap tap shoes. Singing, singing, and dancing. Or we could just do this. Wow! Wario. Okay, so there is a brief amount of time when both of these cages are down, and that's what we're gonna have to do. Hopefully, I don't screw it up. Uh, uh, hiya. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It took me so much longer. Yeah, man. I'm gonna make so much progress, and now I can get to floor three. Oh boy. <laughs> Dead right, mummy folk. Doing your spawning. Uh oh. Something's going down. Introduction of Scantily Clad. Undead woman of scary sauce. These freaking enemies, oh my god. In apocalyptic, they are insane. I'm not even exaggerating. Wait, I, I want to do a cool combo. Wait, wait. Oh, come on, you can do it. Wait, maybe I can't do it with an axe. A whirlwind. That'll work. Oh, I can. Nice. Boosh! That hit is that. That third hit is actually really good. Okay. Right there. Come on. Yeah. 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 Except it's. Boosh! That's a non crit and it does like 2,500 damage. It's insane. But yeah, as you can see, those three almost killed me, but in Apocalyptic, just one of those things would kill me, so. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> uh, okay. So what's over here? Something. Oh, Book of the Dead. Actually, these Book of the Dead pages are pretty concentrated in places you actually have to go, so as long as you're searching where you're having to go pretty thoroughly, you can probably find most of them. Okay, that doesn't look possible. <laughs> Watch over here. Bunch of circles. Crop circles, actually. Minus the crop, of course. So, I think... Yeah, we're on the first floor now, because he broke the elevator when we were on the second floor. So this is as low as we can go. I'm going to go back up to floor three. Because we can't stop on floor two anymore. He's a jerk! Yes. Man, you know what's coming up, guys? You know what's coming up? Do you? My lunch? No. E3. Actually, it's coming up very soon. June, June 11th, right? Oh man, that is like it's like a festival of fools for me. Well, not not really. That doesn't mean any sense. I'm just trying to make a weird Hunchback of Notre Dame reference. 
but it's like really, it's, it's so fun, man. Kid in the candy store is what it is. All right, Wraiths. Eat ghouls! Three of them this time. Ooh, uh, ladies are going down! You going down! Boosh! Oh man, when that third hit crits, ooh! Does like 5,000 damage. Oh god. Hey, 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 hey. Who are your jets? Who are your top gun? Oh! Oh yeah, and uh, people were telling me to use my gun more. It's actually not too bad. I, I thought it would be a bit. You know, it only does 50 damage per shot, so. If you go through a whole clip, you've only done like 500 damage, which, you know, one axe swing just crit for 1400, so, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. It's okay, it's, it definitely has its use if you're trying to keep your distance from enemies. So, I, I guess I could use it more, but it's definitely not, definitely not a game, a game changer. Oh, snap! So that's what Eco looks like when he grows up, I guess. He, he turns into a scary lightning shield man. Undead general. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. Hey buddy, attack those ghouls. Actually, I think... I didn't spec into the whole, uh, ghouls have the, the aggro. I didn't spec into that because they actually do more damage if they don't get targeted. Because they, you know, they don't die. Makes sense. I mean, I, I get a little bit more attention. That's okay. I think you can actually break his guard if you do enough damage. That's okay, he's dead. Whew. Man. That fight took me several tries <laughs> before. Oh, I'm so happy. This is going so much smoother. Let's just hope the... Uh, I did some testing and I did... Confirm the audio was recording, so it should work this time. I'm using a new, um, a new screen capture software, so that's why it's been kind of experimental. Ooh, a relic. Nice. I'm just gonna use this. Probably should have just picked it up, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's why things are, uh, freaking out on me but it should it should work now it should be I think it's better than fraps it's called DX Tori it has a lot more settings than fraps that's for sure so that definitely makes it better already fraps has really really limited control over your recordings like I don't know the customization and options is just not there for fraps but I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. It just is a major CPU hog. And uh, actually, the raw file size for these DX Tori files is it's quite a bit smaller too. Well, not not quite a bit, but it's it's smaller. So I mean, it saves a little bit of hard drive space. Yes, indeed. So, so far we've only been running into Stones of Power and the Mystic ones. I guess that means all the, uh, Resistance Stones are... ...later? Guess, I guess? Oh, I see you, goody. You're mine! Arcane Critical Damage. I'm doing it. I, I like the arcane gear a bit more. It's like, I don't know. It's more clothy. It's pretty sweet. 
Sweet like candied yams. The yammiest of cans. Oh, the most important lever ever. Boosh. Wow. Wow, look what I did. Look what I just did with that lever. Did good stuff. I'm like I'm like as good as uh, the warden. Bam! <laughs> just shove it over there. I think these guys actually get in the way of this thing, so you gotta kind of kill them because they're a nuisance. You hear that? You're a nuisance. <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> so, I'm gonna shove this over here, get it stuck on nothing. Okay, fine. Game doesn't want me to shove all willy nilly. So we are directly under the elevator now. You might you might guess what's about to happen here. Maybe not that, but... <laughs> yeah! We can now stop the elevator on the second floor. It's like this was all meant to happen. Um, however, I have to get back up there somehow. So I have to go this way? Speaking of E3, I just like kind of brought that up. And, you know, I'm really excited, man. It's gonna be good stuff. I mean, Nintendo has their whole Nintendo, Nintendo Direct thing going on, so they may not have too many new things. Oh no! Wait, they're showing a bunch of the new Wii U games. Oh man, I still don't have one, but I'm hoping once they start releasing really good games, I might jump on the bandwagon. And also, uh, Xbox One is going to be there. The new PS4. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. You can stop on floor two now. And it has a, a big door and we can fall. I don't want to fall. <laughs> this do door definitely looks important, as in uh, probably where we're going to meet our first lord. So, uh, I'm gonna end it here, guys. Next time, I'll talk a little bit more about what I'm excited for at E3. And uh, we'll also take on the First Lord. So, yeah, see you guys next time.